1212. Bienvenidos a la clase de español. Welcome back, my dear friends. My name is Mr. Briggs. I'm a qualified Spanish teacher and I upload videos every week. Today's video is entitled Talking About Sports in Spanish. But before we begin, I wanted to invite you. Look at that finger, that hand, and the red rectangle. It reads subscribe. Click that button and join us. I upload videos every week. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Let us begin. Deportes. Deportes is the Spanish word for sport. Deportes. Can you say deportes? Deportes. Deportes. Muy bien. Today's learning intentions. Students will learn the name of popular sports in Spanish. Students will practice key vocabulary related to sports and pronunciation. And watch the success criteria. Students will be able to ask questions about sports in Spanish. Students will be able to respond to questions about sports in Spanish. Ready, here we go. El fútbol. El fútbol means football or soccer. El fútbol. It's perhaps the most popular sport, the most popular deporte in the entire Spanish-speaking world. Think of Argentina or Uruguay, just to name a couple of countries where Football, el fútbol is huge. Now, let's learn about otro deporte, el tenis. El tenis. That's right, that means tennis, el tenis. And Latin America and Spain have also had some wonderful players. It's not just Rafael Nadal from Spain, but there's other players like Gabriela Sabatini from Argentina and Marcelo Rios from Chile, who was number one in the late 90s. El baloncesto, basketball, that's right. El baloncesto, baloncesto. Did you know that Spain ranks number two in the world ranking for basketball? And Argentina seventh. Not to mention Venezuela 17, Puerto Rico 19th, and the Dominican Republic ranks 20 in the world ranking for basketball. El baloncesto. It's also a very popular sport, deporte, in the Spanish-speaking world. Otro deporte, el voleibol, which means volleyball, <laughs> yes, el voleibol. This is also a beautiful sport practice in South America and Spain. El voleibol, el voleibol. Spanish people tend to pronounce the V as a B. So they usually say el voleibol. Can you say that? Do you like it? Volleyball. El voleibol. Let's see otro deporte. Another sport. Skating. Ice skating. El patinaje en hielo. Hielo means ice. El patinaje. El patinaje, skating. El patinaje, it's very popular in cold nations. El patinaje. Let's see another sport. Veamos otro deporte. El béisbol. El béisbol. Baseball has grown in popularity in countries like Chile, Cuba, Dominican Republic, and especially Mexico and Venezuela. The sport has traditionally been considered one of the most popular in Mexico, second only to football. El béisbol. El béisbol. Otro deporte. El ciclismo. Cycling. El ciclismo. El ciclismo is another important deporte in the Spanish-speaking countries. In many cities like Santiago, Chile, there are exclusive lanes for cyclists nowadays, changing the shape of the cities, decreasing pollution, and helping people stay fit. El ciclismo. Veamos otro ejemplo. Let's see another deporte. La gimnasia. Gymnastics. La gimnasia. La gimnasia. 
La gimnasia is taught in many schools in the Spanish countries. It's almost compulsory in some places. Otro ejemplo. Lanzamiento de disco. Disc throwing. Lanzamiento. Throwing. De disco. Disco means disc. Lanzamiento de disco. That means disc throwing. And it's a popular sport in the Olympics also. El esquí. El esquí. You guess what it means. Ski. Have you ever visited the Andes Mountain? They got these beautiful towns high up in the mountains called Farellones or Bariloche in Argentina and Chile, respectively, where you can practice el esquí. El maratón. El maratón means the marathon. El maratón. We can see how similar English and Spanish are once again. El maratón. This is a cognate, which means exactly the same thing, the marathon. El maratón. El maratón. Let's see otro deporte. La natación. Swimming. La natación. La natación means swimming. La natación. It's very exciting in South America with piranhas in the rivers and sharks in the sea. <laughs> Just kidding. La natación means swimming. Asking questions about sports in Spanish. So how do we go about asking questions about deportes en español? That's right. Don't forget that. Deportes means sports. If you want to ask What sport do you play or practice? You would ask, ¿Qué deportes juegas? ¿Qué deportes juegas? Let's see these two kids. Maria will ask, ¿Qué deportes juegas? And Pepe will answer, Juego tenis. ¿Y tú? Talking about sports can pave the way for new friendships. ¿Qué deportes ¿Te gustan? What sports do you like? ¿Qué deportes te gustan? Let's see what Maria asks this time. ¿Qué deportes te gustan? Pepe answers. Me gusta el tenis. ¿Y tú? Y tú means and you. If you want to say that you play tennis, you can say yo juego tenis. Or simply drop the pronoun and say, Juego tenis. I play tenis. Or you can simply say that you like tenis by saying, Me gusta el tenis. Me gusta el tenis. ¿Y tú? <laughs> ejercicios. Exercises. Let's do a few ejercicios about deportes in order to consolidate what we've learned. ¿Qué deportes juegas? What sport do you play? ¿Qué deportes juegas? What would you answer? You can say, juego fútbol. O, me gusta el fútbol. Otro deporte. ¿Qué deportes te gustan? What sports do you like? You can say, me gusta el ciclismo. And you can also say, hago ciclismo, which means I do cycling. We don't say I play cycling. I do cycling. Same thing in Spanish. Hago ciclismo. Or you can also say, me gusta el ciclismo. What a beautiful deporte. Veamos otro. Let's see another example. Now the question is, ¿Qué deportes te gustan? What sports do you like? So you can answer, give it a guess. Me gusta el baloncesto. That's right. Me gusta, how do you say basketball again? El baloncesto. Perfecto. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay, the time has come for... Tun, 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 tun. Get ready. Prepárate. Tarea. 
homework. Let's see how you go identifying and naming these deportes en español. ¿Listo? ¿Ready? Me gusta el something. Me gusta el. Me gusta el. Me gusta la. It's the last example. Can you fill this in? Come on. You can do it. Pause the video and complete this exercise. Tú puedes hacerlo, which means you can do it. Tú puedes hacerlo. Excelente. Are you ready for the respuestas? Answers. That's how you say answers. Respuestas. Muy bien, let's see the respuestas. Me gusta el fútbol was the first one. Me gusta el tenis. Me gusta el baloncesto. Me gusta el béisbol. Me gusta el patinaje. Me, Me gusta la gimnasia. If you wrote that down, perfecto. Give yourself a big applause. But if for any reason you didn't get the correct answers, don't worry. You're doing fine. Learning a new language requires that you make mistakes. So don't ever feel bad for making mistakes because that means that you are learning. And the more you practice, the better you will become. And here comes your favorite Spanish word. Tarea. <laughs> Homework. What do you mean no? Come on, guys. You gotta love this word. Tarea. It helps you to reinforce what you've learned. Look up the following deportes in Spanish. You have to become like a language detective. Look up. Investigate. Research. How do you call this Deportes en Español. I have faith in you. Muy bien, amigos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give me a like, share the video, and suscríbete. That means subscribe in Spanish. Take care. Nos vemos. Adiós.